So all those who have been allotted seats from round 1 to round 6 in the NIT system, NIT system meaning NITs, IIITs and GFTIs, the question that is playing the minds of students and parents is, what should we do regarding physical reporting? Because in the beginning, it was stated that in the NIT plus system, students have to report at the end of the sixth round. Now, there is a clarification that you don't have to do physical reporting. So physical reporting is done away with. So we will look at those details. The second is that CSAB schedule also has come. We will look at that CSAB schedule also. So first, after round six, now round five is almost over. Round six uh, results, etc., will get over by 18th of November. So next, what is it that you should be doing for all the students who've got into the NIT plus system from round one to round six? The common instructions are like this. First, so there is no physical reporting this year. So you don't have to bother about going to the allotted institutes. Instead, what you should be doing is you should be paying partial admission fees in the JOSA counseling portal itself. In the JOSA counseling portal itself, you'll be given a facility to pay partial admission fees. And this will be enabled from November 20th to November 24th. So be careful about this. If you do not pay this partial fees, even if your intention is to join, if you do not pay this partial uh, fees by November 24th, your seat will be cancelled and it will be allotted to somebody else in the CSAV round. So you should be very, very careful. All the students who've got seats from round one to round six so far in the NIT plus system, that is NITs, IIITs and GFTIs, wherever you've got, you don't have to do physical reporting, but instead you have to show your commitment, your commitment to join the institute by paying the partial admission fees. And what is the partial admission fees? Rupees 40,000 for general EWS and OBC and rupees 20,000 for SC, ST and PWD. Okay, so people with disabilities. So this is what you should be paying, the partial admission fees, 40,000 and 20,000. And after you do this, what you should do is, you should go to the institute website, whichever institute, like for example, you got allotment in NIT Warangal. So go to the NIT Warangal website and follow their instructions with regard to the start of the admission process, registration, whatever they want you to do, you have to do that. All right. So let me summarize again. Most important thing at the end of round six, all those students who've got allotted to NITs, IIITs and GFTIs, what all you need to do is you don't have to go and report physically at the institutes to show your commitment that you want to take in, you're going to take this uh, seat up in those respective allotted institutions. You just have to go to the JOSA uh, portal and from 28th November to 24th November, the payment of fees will be enabled. You got to pay the partial fees as given here. That is all you have to do. Then go to the uh, institute allotted institute website and check up what you need to do with regard to the start of the admission process. Follow the instructions. Each institute will have its own uh, way of inducting you. Okay. Now, next is what about CSAB? So this CSAB is something which is peculiar only to the NIT plus system. It is not applicable to the IIT system. So in the case of IIT, sixth round is the last round. But in the case of NITs, you have got two rounds under the CSAP scheme. Now, what is this CSAP scheme, etc., etc.? We will see right now. Now, what is the CSAP scheme? Now, the CSAP scheme is, it's just actually two special rounds after the sixth round. So, whatever vacancies are there, instead of allowing them to be vacant, the NIT, IIIT and the GFTIs will allow students to actually participate in the uh, two special rounds and get one of these vacant positions, all right? So what is the timeline for this? The timeline for this is something like this. Display of vacancies will happen on 27th November. On 27th number, November, you will know exactly which institute, which seat, which branch is vacant. Then 
Choice filling starts on 28th November. Choice filling means basically registration for CSAP, etc., etc., all the formalities. And then choice filling. It starts on 28th November. Choice filling ends on 30th November. Okay. Then seat allotment results will be declared on 2nd December. Then online reporting you can do between 2nd to 4th December. And then if there are any queries, the last date for responding to the queries is 5th December. Then special round 2, special round 2, CSAP, special round 2 seat allotment will uh, take place on 7th December. So you don't have to do anything for the second round. What happens is after the uh, first round, uh, you either, you get the option freeze, float and slide just like in your regular JOSA counseling. And based on that, you can participate in the second round and uh, second round seat allotment will happen on 7th December and online reporting will happen between 7th and 9th of December and then reporting to allocated in at the allotted institute will be between 7th and 13th December. The only thing is that so far the business rules for CSAB this year have not been announced yet. So they will be announced in the form of a brochure. The brochure has not been released at the website as of now. As of one hour back, I have checked up, they have not announced. So we will do a special video on the business rules once uh, the business rules get announced. But uh, the business rules will not be very different from what it was last year. So la based on last year's business rules, what were the instructions? We made a video last year. That video we will include in the description box here so you can refer to the video to be prepared mentally as to what the business rules are and what will be the modalities for csap counseling for this year and once the business rules of uh, 2021 get announced we will do a, a special video if required if there are any changes we will do a special video one thing you got to understand as far as csap is concerned is that you got to participate in csap only if you are unhappy with your current allotment uh, because once a branch gets allotted to you in CSAP, what will happen is that the uh, under the JOSA counseling, whatever you have been allotted, that will get cancelled and whatever you have been allotted in CSAP, that will get allotted to you. Okay, So please remember, CSAP, you have to participate if you are not happy with what you have got and you want to see what based on the uh, vacant positions any of those vacant branches appeal to you, just go ahead and participate. But remember that once one of those things gets allocated to you, whatever has been allotted to you in the JOSA rounds, that will cancel, get cancelled and the new branch will get allotted to you. So you will not be given a choice after round one whether you are going to go for the new one or the old one. It automatically means if you are participating in... Um, CSAP, it automatically means that if you are given a branch of your choice, whatever choice filling that you've done, based on that, if you're going to get a branch, you're going to leave the old seat and you're going to take the new seat. So that is what you got to keep in mind. So uh, after CSAP, if you are allocated a new branch and a new choice, the old choice will get deleted and that will be allocated to somebody else. So take care of that. So if you are participating in CSAP, fill only those choices which you are going to accept, which you are going to prefer to whatever you have right now. Other than that, there is no problem. Uh, if you want to participate, you want to, you want to move up, definitely you should make use of the opportunity that is given in CSAP. And uh, who knows, you may get a branch of your choice. Okay. On that note, let's end this here. All the best. Uh, in the description box, the CSAP business rules last year are explained. You can follow that just to get an idea of how the business rules will be this year also. All the best.